The only living son of convicted murderer Alex Murdaugh is suing several national media outlets. Buster Murdaugh is seeking damages for coverage of his alleged involvement in the death of a former high school classmate. Jonathan Sari has more from Atlanta. Buster, Buster Murdaugh has filed a defamation suit against several media companies, including Warner Brothers and Netflix, claiming they falsely insinuated he was involved with the unsolved death of his former high school classmate, Stephen Smith. Stephen's death is now intertwined with the Murdaugh. Buster, who denies any involvement in Smith's death, is seeking unspecified damages against the documentary producers for alleged harm to his reputation. But an attorney for Smith's family says the lawsuit is likely to backfire on Buster, subjecting him to lengthy depositions with attorneys from big media companies who are in no hurry to settle. I think they're going to defend this case vigorously. I think they're going to use it to get additional content. Wouldn't surprise me if there's additional documentaries. Stephen Smith died in 2015, his body found on a country road about 15 miles from the Murdoch family's hunting estate. Authorities initially ruled it a hit and run, but reopened the case as a homicide investigation after the 2021 murders of Buster's mother Maggie and younger brother Paul, a crime that led to the conviction of his father Alec Murdoch and placed the whole family under a national spotlight. Attorney Eric Bland hopes Buster's legal action sheds new light on Smith's death and brings his mother some long-awaited answers. Well, I can tell you today, the happiest person, because Buster filed this lawsuit, is not necessarily Buster, it's Sandy Smith, because of what the discovery may yield in this case. Buster's father is serving two life sentences at a maximum security prison in South Carolina. Alec Murdaugh has admitted to numerous financial crimes, but to this day insists he did not kill his wife and son. In Atlanta, Jonathan Seri, Fox News.